Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. If you try to see our login registration thing, so we are able to get this one. So like this. So if I am trying to submit this one, so we are able to uh, write the logic or differentiate the logic between the login and register. Now it's time for us to submit this register data, data whatever the data the user is submitting into the Firestore database. And now if you go to our project, this is our notes list view project. And here if you go to our uh, all products, here you will be able to see the authentication. If I click on this authentication and here it will be asking you to get started with the authentication. Okay, let's click on the get started. So you will be, you'll be also able to see the same thing if you are practicing along with me. And here you will be having so many different types of login methodologies. But here the sign in methodologies what I can try to use, we are taking the native thing that is email and the password simple. So I am taking and I am enabling the email and password. Let's click on the save. So now we have enabled the email and password. Now let's go to the documentation. How to integrate this email and passwords authentication thing in our notes list project. Now if you try to see here, this is the build command, right? And here, sorry, this is the build. In this build, you'll be able to see the authentication thing. And if I click on this authentication, and now here we are learning about the web and let's go to the web and here you will be able to see the get started. Let's see the get started and I have clicked on the get started. Now if you go here, so these all the SDK and all those things we have installed. So we need to import this get auth which is which comes under which comes from firebase slash auth. So we need to use this one and here constant auth is equal to get auth. We need to use this one. So let's go to our project. So that all code is residing in the firebase.js file which is in the source slash js. So this is our thing and here let's copy this constant auth is equal to get auth and here I will be pasting this one. Let's export this auth also. So we need to use it here. Let's export this auth also. And now this get auth we need to import from I don't know whether it is coming or not. So we need to import it from import from firebase firebase slash auth right. So here this is nothing but firebase slash auth and also we need to import the get auth get auth now you will be able to get it that's it so now we got the auth thing now let's go to the uh, next uh, next what do you need to do so we need to create a pina store for login authentication so for that one what i am trying to do in the stores i am creating a new file that is auth store auth store i am creating a new store auth store.js file so this is our new store file for the authentication thing and here you will be having export constant use auth store is equal to define store I will be defining the store and here you will be having the auth store and here I can write as a method or otherwise you can use as an uh, what I can say as an object so let's try to use this by this time options API type of thing okay and here you will be having an actions okay so actions, this is the actions and the other one is the data. You can use the data. So right now we will be having an actions in this actions. What I will try to do. So we will be having the register user and this, this thing will get the credentials thing register user or otherwise we will use the traditional composition API. Why? Because we are using the composition API technology only, right? So now here constant register user is equal to. So this is the method we will be having. And here I need to return the register user, register user. And here let's try to use the return register user. And here what I can do. So constant register user is there. Mm, let's click uh, console dot log register action. And we'll send this credentials also credentials. And these credentials we are trying to send it here. Fine. So this is our auth store. So we have created our auth store. Let's go to the auth view. So when the user has been sub when the user is submitted, when the user is submitted register thing and here in the register, we need to call this register user, which is from the auth store. So for that one constant auth store is equal to use auth store. We are not able to get it use auth store for this one. What we need to do, we need to import from um, it could be from store right stores slash auth store okay 
and here let's go to the brackets and here we need to import use auth store that's it now here you will be having use auth store and then and now i need to call this method and here when the user is registering i need to call auth store oh sorry auth store dot register user and we need to send the credentials credentials dot value oh uh, no not it it's a reactive thing right credentials we need to send the credentials now we are uh, using this auth in the auth store we are consoling right let's see that whether we are able to achieve it or not now here we did it and here let's refresh this page now we are able to see this one i am in the register page and i am using this code and here i am using register now we are able to fire the register action so we are able to send this email and the password now it's time for us to sign up this user how we can sign up this user and if you try to go here get started if you go a little bit down sign up new users so if you are able to see sign up new users so to in order to have a sign up with new users we need to use the method create user with email and password this is the method and we need to pass the auth email and the password let's copy this one or otherwise we can copy this entire thing let's copy this entire thing and here go to the auth user and here i will paste this entire thing yeah and here create with email and username and password we need to import it in the firebase slash auth and this auth we can import it from our firebase js we are exporting their db and auth right here you can use it and email and password we are getting it from the credentials so you can use this credentials dot email and here also you can use the same thing credentials dot password and here also you can use credentials sorry credentials credentials dot password and you will getting the uh, and upon successful registering you will be getting the user credential and here let's console this user also we'll see what could be the output for this one and here we are using this constant and all those things let's console this const console dot log error dot message so we need to check the message that's it so first we will see the message thing how the message we are able to see it. the console for example the firebase the password it will take minimum six characters so i will try to give the minimum of three characters or something like that one two three now it will throw a message which will be uh, which will go into the catch here catch block and it will show you the message what is the message you will be getting if i click on the login see here lo oh sorry it should be register right so i have clicked on the register and click register register action what could be the issue here i have saved it right i have saved it constant register user yeah everything is working fine oh let's refresh this page i think we need to refresh the page i think yeah i haven't refreshed the page yeah now if i try to add one two three and if i click on the register see this time i am able to see from the firebase password should be at least six characters auth weak password so this is the message we are able to get it from the error dot message fine now what i want to do here so this time i will try to give uh, re, uh, correct email and the correct password so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the email and password i am trying to give it register and now we are able to successfully register and you will be able to get some data which you will be able to see is the access token which you can able to use it that access token and uh, we can for making the api calls for the access thing and auth and these all the things you will be able to see user id uid so it, this is the user id and you will be able to see all the user details and all the things email and all the things you will be able to see it. so this is how we will so now we are able to successfully get the data these all things right so now we are able to successfully register the user and we'll check with the login and all those things logout also now when the successfully registered automatically the user will be logged in by the firestore so there is there is no need for the user if you register it there is no need for the user to go again go and log in with the same credentials automatically if the registration successfully is automatically the user is logged in so now this is the thing we'll try to see it in the next video i will commit this all the code in our new branch video hyphen 104 create a new branch video hyphen 104 i am committing this branch register user credentials okay so what are the things so maybe the spelling mistake nothing will happen so you understood the main core idea core thing right so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so as usual 
so we are having our github repository url the link will be provided in the description below anybody who is having a doubt on this project they, if you want to refer the code means they can go to this particular branch whichever the video you are watching you can go to that particular video branch and you can check the code so this is all about the uh, registration thing hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you